So in the last episode, you learned how to create classes inside Optic or into PHP. And in this episode, we're going to talk about something called visibility and inheritance. Now, it's going to be kind of weird because I can't talk about visibility without also talking about properties and methods, which is not something I'm going to teach until the next episode. And I can't talk about properties and methods in the next episode without also talking about visibility because they kind of go together. So I'm going to talk about both in this episode. I'm mainly going to focus on visibility and inheritance here. So if you have any questions about properties and methods, just go ahead and watch the next episode and see if you still have any questions there. So as you can see in front of me here, I have a couple of different documents. I have a index page and I also have a class page. Inside the class document, I have two different classes. I have a person class and I have a pet class. And I don't think I mentioned this in the previous episode, but it is possible to put multiple classes inside one document. It's not the best way to do things, but it is possible. So just for the sake of this exercise here, I just went ahead and took two classes put them inside one document so it's easier to see. But what I want you to get from this is that we have two classes and inside these classes, we have some data. We have some properties inside the first class up here, which is person. A property is kind of similar to a variable. It's not the same thing, but the best way I can describe it is that it's kind of like variables inside an object, if I had to say it in some kind of way. Um, again, it's not the same thing. I will get hate in the comments if I say they're the same thing, they're not. Um, so, but again, for new people, they're kind of like variables. If we were to go down inside my pet class, you can see we have a, not a function, because again, I will get hate if I say that, but I have a method, which is kind of similar to a function, okay? Now, the idea here is that from inside the index page, I want to echo out the method down here. And right now, as you can see inside the method, I have a variable that is set equal to hi there, and I simply return variable A. So with this method here, what I can do is I can go inside my index page. And again, you don't need to understand what is going on in here. I don't know if I explained that in the previous episode, how to actually create objects. I may have, I don't know. Um, but just know that I created an object based off the class called pet, which means that I can now use the properties and methods inside that object, okay, or inside the class. So what I did is I echoed out the owner method that is inside that specific class called pet because I did name it owner. If you were to go back in here, you can actually see that's the name of it. And now to show you what exactly happens if I were to echo this out inside the browser, this is what we're going to get. And as you can see, we get an uncaught error. Hmm, why is that happening? Well, right now we have something inside our properties and methods that you may have noticed, which is something called private. Now, whenever you create a property or method inside any sort of class, you need to define a visibility for them. Now, right now I've set them to private, all of them, because as a default, you need to always make sure you, first of all, prioritize putting them as private whenever you create any sort of properties and methods. And then you need to think to yourself, hmm, do I need to use these pieces of data outside the classes? Because when we set them to private, we can only use the properties and methods inside the same class. So this method down here that I'm echoing from the index page doesn't have the visibility to actually access it since it's set to private. It's only whatever's inside this class here that can actually access it. So like I said, we need to sort of think, do I need to use this method outside the class? In this case here, I do need to use it outside the class because I'm trying to access it from inside my index page. So I do need to have some kind of visibility that allow for me to access it from in here. And we can do that by setting it to public instead. So now if we were to go inside the browser, you can actually see that we now get high there because now we set the visibility to the correct one. So we've talked about private and public as visibilities, but we haven't talked about the last one, which is something called protected. So when it comes to private, we can only access the data from inside the class. This means that if I were to actually take this, uh, what do you call it, this uh, method down here, just copy paste it up inside my person class. Then if I were to take this variable A and instead reference it to some of the data I have inside this person class, so I can actually just go ahead and delete, delete, delete. Now, the way we reference to data inside the same class is using a keyword called variable this, which means that I'm pointing to this class I'm inside of right now. 
And what I can then do is I can point to a specific property or method using the little arrow here, and I can point to a property called first. Now do notice that I didn't put a dollar sign in front of the first name because I'm pointing to a property and not a variable. Again, like I said, a property is not the same thing as a variable. We just need to define them with the variable symbol when we create them, but when we reference to them, we don't use the variable symbol. So if I were to do this and then tweak my index page a little bit, so we instead of calling out the pet class, we instead call out the person class, because now we're referencing to the person up here, like so. And if I were to do that, it should now write out uh, my first name. So if I were to go inside the browser, refresh, you can now see it says Daniel. And now you might have a few questions because why can I print this out inside my browser when the properties are set to private? Hmm, let's just go and take a look at what exactly is going on inside the class again. So as you can see, inside this class here, we have some private properties and I have a public method. Now, because private means that I can only access the data from inside the class, if I were to make a public method like this one down here and actually access the property from inside the method, it now means that I can actually access the properties from inside this method here because this method can access the properties. So if I can access the method from the index page, then I can also access the properties from within the method, if that makes sense. So that's why we can actually echo out the data here if they're inside that method. So now let's go ahead and just go back a little bit here. Actually, let's just go ahead and copy paste because I'm actually gonna do something very similar here. So if we were to copy, delete, and paste it inside the class we have done here and just replace it, we're going to talk about the protected visibility. So right now, what we have here, let me actually go ahead and change the inside my index page as well. There we go. So right now what we have here is the same classes as we had as before. We have person and we have pet. Now the pet method is right now still trying to access a property from within the same class. But right now we don't have a property inside this class called first because that's what I'm trying to access here. So what we can do is we can inherit properties and methods from one class to another class. And we can do that using a very simple keyword. So if we were to go up inside the class name where we defined the class up here and say that it extends person, it now means that all the properties and methods within person are now getting inherited into the pet class. This means that I can now access these different, um, what do you call properties up inside the person class if I were to use the protected keyword. So just to sort of explain this, let's actually go and see what happens right now if we were to refresh the browser. Do notice that these properties are still set to private. So if we were to go inside the browser, you should see we get an error message. And as you can see, we now get a undefined property, which means that it can't find it. So if we were to go back inside my classes here, what I can do is I can go ahead and make my private property up here inside the person class and I can actually make it protected instead. So by doing this, what I'm now saying is that this property up here can only be accessed from within the same class, just like private. However, if any classes inherits any sort of properties and methods from this class here, we can also use them inside that other class. This means that right now, if I were to actually refresh the browser, I can access this data from within the other class and still print out the data. And I hope that sort of makes sense to you because protected is one of those sort of visibilities that confuse a lot of people. So just know if you have protected data, then you can only access the data from within the same class or any class that extends to it, okay? So right now this class down here has access to all the properties and methods from within its own class and this class up here. I should also mention that right down here when we do actually gain access to the property from within the other class, I'm referencing to that specific property as variable this, which I said before was when you reference to something within the same class, but because we right now extend to that specific class up there, you should kind of see them as the same class now. So they're sort of like an extension of one another. So we can still use the variable this keyword in order to access properties from within 
the other class as well. Now, just the last thing, just to properly demonstrate this, I just want to go ahead and go inside my index page. And what I want to do is I want to gain access to my person class. And instead of trying to print out a method, I'm just simply gonna print out the property called first, like so, which means that if I were to go back inside my class, set this one to private, we are now trying to access this private property from within the person class. So if I were to refresh the browser, you can see that we right now get an uncaught error because right now we're trying to access a private property. So if we were to go back inside the class, change it to protected, what do you think is going to happen? Because remember, we can only access this data from within the same class or within any classes that extends to it. Does that mean we can access it from the index page? No, it does not. So if we were to refresh, you can see we can still not access it because it's protected. I would need to create a method from within the same class or the other class down here that then accesses this specific property and prints it out or echoes it out inside the browser. If I were to set it to public, however, and then go inside the browser again, you can now see that we can access the data because it's set to public. So that's what I want to talk about when it comes to visibility and when it comes to inheritance, at least when it comes to classes. In the next episode, like I said, we will talk about um, how to you know, create properties and methods, what everything means there. And you hopefully shouldn't have any questions when it comes to creating properties and methods. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and I'll see you in the next one.